it's Imogen. Thanks for clicking on this video where I'm going to take you plant shopping in IKEA and also show you the process of setting up the glass cabinet behind me as an IKEA greenhouse cabinet. So to start, for the last few months I've really wanted one of the IKEA glass cabinets to use as a greenhouse, as I've been seeing them all over Instagram. The account at IKEA Greenhouse Cabinet has loads of examples of people doing really creative things with these cabinets and showing the ways that they've customised them to be suitable for the plant's needs. So this account is great for inspiration but made me want one all the more. We've been redecorating the room that I'm sat in right now to make it into a bit of a nice space and also an office for me to work in during the day. I also thought it'd be a perfect place to put a greenhouse cabinet as I'd be able to see the plants all day. Unlike now, where most of my plants are downstairs in our living room, a greenhouse-esque cabinet would also allow me to increase the humidity for my plants which thrive in those environments. So just before Sheffield went into tier 3 lockdown, we went to Ikea to buy the last of this type of cabinet which they had in stock. When I was there, I obviously had to have a look around the plants, so filmed that to show you too. To start up with, there was a large display of cacti and succulents. These ones in grey ceramic pots I think are mainly crassula, but they were £3 each and mainly healthy, although this one was just a little bit floppy. There were also succulents for £2, but those ones are just in their nursery pots rather than ceramic pots and we may need more crassula, like that wavy jade, and I think some different aloe varieties. We then get onto the bigger cacti, which are in 15 centimetre pots, and they are £8 each, and I had a couple of different varieties, and there was also some bigger succulents as well. The Pillia depressor is what I'm looking at now. Uh, that's also known as a baby's tears, uh, but that was £4.50. Then we have the pot section, where they were quite nicely separated by colour. So this next display, I can't even come up with an overarching theme of it. So there were snake plants and a peperomia, also some flamingo anthuriums. Then they had these little sort of shrubs with little berries on. Um, they were only £1.50 and are a Galtheria, which is also known as a checkerberry. Then as you can see there were also Kalanchoe, uh, some bromeliads for £6, and then some more succulents. These massive euphorbia were £45 each and were really tall. And then they also had a big trolley of peace lilies in 17cm pots for £7.50. And they were flowering really nicely. Moving on, there were some sort of IKEA classic like these ferns and some dragon trees but they also had some alocasia amazonica these were seven pounds which i think is actually quite an affordable price for the size of these alocasias i then found a tray of some big aloe veras for sale and then also some more trays of Epipremnum aureum, which are obviously commonly known as Golden Pothos. And these pots are only £3 each and had quite a few vines in there, so a really good place to go. There were some cheap little parlour palms, which are less than £2 and are really easy to care for. And they also had some heather plants for £2.50, but these ones were actually quite dry and not really the best quality. Uh, they also had these sort of cylindrical snake plants. And 
some mini bonsai trees, I think. I don't know if they'd just been a delivery or there just wasn't enough floor space, but there were quite a few more trolleys stacked with plants. So yet again, some more cacti in the cute little sort of trio packs, as well as obviously more succulents and these bonsai things. There's also a few big palisias, which are essentially like indoor trees as well as some orchids, amongst sort of more things that I've already shown, like the succulents and aloe. But they also had a few dracaena. And some trailing ivy. And that's the plant section. I did also get a soccer, which is a miniature greenhouse, um, and I'm going to use that for propagations, and I've been after it for a while, and my shop just hasn't had it in stock. Sorry for not giving a big overview, but there were a few other people shopping, and I obviously don't want to record them without their permission, but yeah, I bought a few boring things too, but now onto the greenhouse. The cabinet I got is called the Mills Bow, and I went for the grey black one rather than the white one, and it was £179. The instructions do say to have two people put it together, so I got my boyfriend to help me, or actually, as you'll see in the video, it was more him putting it together while I helped him and predominantly just held things. It didn't take too long to put together, maybe just under an hour or so, and it was actually quite straightforward for such a big item of furniture. And this is what the cabinet looks like at the moment. I do want to make some changes, like adding some wire shelves to aid circulation, which is why I didn't put the glass ones that actually came with the cabinet in when I was building it. I've also bought a couple of fans on the floor there currently and I'll also be sealing the cabinet to get rid of this sort of gap and adding in some grow lights. But there you go, my little sort of plant area is coming together. I'll probably show you those changes in another video just because I want to get this one up. So I'll leave you on tender hooks for now but I hope you still enjoyed this video and seeing what plants IKEA had in stock and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!